Hello, good day everyone. Now let's have some review about the rules to form plural nouns. This is applicable for the fourth grade and third grade learners. Singular and plural nouns. Now let's read the following sentences. The Philippines is our country. There are many countries in the world. There are three big islands in our country. A sea surrounds an island. Our country has many beautiful tourist spots. Many tourists visit our country to see the beautiful spots. Now let's have some singular word and the plural form of those words or the singular form of noun and the plural form of each noun. Country, countries. Island, islands. Tourist, tourists. When do we say a word is singular or plural? A singular noun refers to only one person or thing while a plural noun refers to more than one person, place, or thing. Do you still remember how some nouns form their plural? Let's have some review. Nouns are changed to their plural form in many ways. Read and study the following reminders. Number one, most nouns form their plural by adding S to the singular noun. Example, river, rivers. Just simply add S to the noun. Number two, some nouns ending in S, SH, and CH, X, or Z form their plural by adding ES to the singular nouns. Examples, church, Churches, brush, brushes, grass, grasses, tax, taxes. Number three, nouns ending in Y and with a vowel before it form their plural by adding S. Examples, key, keys, toy, toys, they, days. Number four, nouns ending in Y and in with a consonant before it form their plural by changing Y to I and adding ES. Examples, family, families. We change the letter Y to letter I and then we add ES. Lady, ladies. Number five, some nouns ending in F or FE form their plural by changing F to V and adding ES. Examples, live, lives, knife, knives. Number six, other nouns ending in F and FE form their plural by simply adding S. Examples, shift, shifts. Roof, roofs, proof, proofs, and brief, briefs. Number seven, some nouns ending in O with a consonant before it form their plural by adding ES. Examples, hero, heroes, mango, mangoes. Number eight, other nouns ending in O by a vowel form their plural by adding S. Examples, zoo, zeus, zero, zeros, piano, pianos. Number nine, some nouns form their plural by changing the spelling of the singular noun. These are the irregular nouns. Examples, man, men, child, children, 
tust, teeth, goose, geese, ox, oxen. Let's have exercise number one. Give the plural form of the following nouns. Number one, valley. How do you form the plural of valley? The correct answer is valleys. Number two, tax. What is the plural form of the noun tax? The correct answer is taxes. Number three, half. How do you form the plural of the noun half? The correct answer is halves. We change the letter F to letter V and we add ES. Number four, potato. The correct plural form is potatoes. Number five, baby. How do you form the plural of the noun baby? The correct answer is babies. We change Y to letter I and then add ES. Now let's have number six. The word is dwarf or the noun is dwarf. What is the correct plural form of the noun dwarf? The correct answer is dwarfs. But sometimes you will see or you can encounter some dwarves but that was uh, no, it was used during the ancient times but during our time this time we use already a dwarves number seven self what is the correct plural form of the noun self the correct plural form is selves we change the letter f to letter V and then add ES. Number eight, foot. This is an irregular noun. So what is the correct plural form of this word foot? The correct answer is feet. And number nine is dish. This is a regular noun. So we simply add ES. The correct plural form is dishes. And number 10 is grass. This is also another regular noun. That's why we add ES. And the correct plural form is grasses. Now let's have exercise number two. Fill in the blank with the correct plural noun of the word and the parentheses. Number one, I, lo I lost the blank of the cabinet. The noun is key. So the correct plural form of the word key or the noun key is keys. Number two, I enjoy reading blank. The noun there is story. So the correct plural form of the noun story is stories. Yeah, change Y to letter I and then add ES. So now let's compare these two plural form of noun, the keys and the stories. Maybe you would ask, why is it teacher that the word key also ends with letter Y and the word story also ends with letter Y, but the word or the noun key uh, doesn't change the letter Y to I because it is preceded by the vowel letter E that's why we do not change the letter Y to I and add ES because this is a regular noun and story also a regular noun but it's, it ends with letter Y so we change Y to letter I and then we add ES Next, number three, the blank fell in the water. The noun is leaf. What's the correct plural form of leaf? OK, 
Okay, the leaves. So that is the correct plural form of the noun leaf. And number four, the blank are filled with people on Sundays. Okay, the, the noun is church. Okay, please observe the correct spelling of the word church. There is a missing letter, which is letter C. But the correct plural form of the noun church is churches. Number five, the mountain is covered with tall blank. The noun is grass. And the correct plural form of the noun grass is grasses. Number six, there are blank and different parts of the country. Okay, the noun is volcano. So if there are so many volcanoes, so you are going to use the plural form as volcanoes. Number seven, they wash the blank with hot water. The noun is dish. And the plural form of that word or noun is dishes. Number eight, Wild birds and animals live in the, the noun is mountain, and the plural form of that noun is mountains. Okay, number nine, blank are not common in our country. So the noun there is fox. What is the plural form of the noun fox? The correct plural form is foxes. So, please observe again the capitalization since the word fox is, is the beginning of the sentence. We have to capitalize the letter F. Number 10. The teacher gives blank every day. So, what is the plural form of the noun quiz? Correct. Plural form of the noun quiz is quizzes. Okay, so thank you for watching and listening to our review for the plural form of noun. How to form plural nouns. Or how to form the, or how to, some rules of, to form plural nouns.